Any more doubts here? So here we'll do in another method also, like we can do directly also here. Instead of doing all this, we can find direct dx by dt is dx by dt is like this is same as the root. Otherwise, just I I said that this can be written as first a to the power one by two sine inverse t. A power x derivative is a power x a power x into log a what is the derivative of a power x a power x log a after that this derivative of this so 1 by 2 sin inverse t is 1 by root over 1 minus t we we'll write within one step in the same way dy by dy by dt is this can be written as 1 by 2 a power x is a power x into log a again the derivative of this is 1 by 1 by 2 into root over 1 minus t square this is minus 1 by 2 as it is cos inverse t is 1 by 1 minus 6 now divide cancel 2 cancel log a cancel uh, then we got remaining value is this here if i divide dt dt dx by dy value dx dy value here remaining is uh, a to the power of 1 by 2. What is this value actually? All values are again. This is the value of x. You write x by minus y. Minus y. This is the value of y again. So x by minus y. You can write reciprocal. Reverse. So dy by dx is minus y by x. So that we can do in three ways. This is we can differentiate directly with respect to t. We will get dx by dt. Differentiate direct t, we'll get dy by dt. After that, we can divide. dt dt cancel here. This is the value of x, this is the value of y. So here we got minus. Okay, this is third method. Third, this method you can try at home. Right. Look at here. See, uh, I'm I'm taking like x uh, y is equal to x square. Listen carefully. Now I want to differentiate this with respect to x. How to write dy by dx? Is equal to x square is 2x. Again I want to differentiate. Again I want to differentiate. How to write that? Again both sides differentiate with respect to x. d by dx of left side already dy by dx. d by dx of this 2x. So, this can be written as d into d, d square y by dx square will that. Not dx whole square. That second derivative can be written as d square y by dx square. Okay, dx square. Uh, this is equal to again the derivative of 2x is 2 into 1, 2. Like that, if we differentiate again, how to differentiate again? d by dx of left side is equal to d by dx of this 2. Nothing but how to write this value? d cube, d to d square, d cube y by d x cube is equal to derivative of constant is 0. Like that we can differentiate n times. n times we can differentiate. This is called first derivative. This is called second derivative. d square, nothing but second derivative d cube nothing but third derivative so how to represent the derivative in different uh, notation like look at here i want to take y is equal to f of x with a function i want to differentiate with respect to x y can be written as dy by dx and f of x becomes f dash of x what it will be represent the derivative of y with respect to x. 
what it will be represent the derivative of derivative of f with respect to a. okay now so this dy by dx can be written as y dash of again this uh, dy by dx can be written as y1 also sometimes y suffix 1 also represent the first derivative y dash also represent the first derivative we can write dy by dx also we can write f dash of x or we can write capital d to y also these are all will represent the de derivative of x derivative of y with respect to x how to write here we will write either y dash or y1 or dy by dx or capital dy or f dash of x okay all this will represent the derivative of given function with respect to y or first derivative first derivative how to write the second derivative just now i written second derivative can be written as y double dash or here we will write y2 y suffix 2 this is the meaning is second derivative of y or d square y by dx square just now i said d square or we will write capital d square y or f double dash of x okay or we will write this value is df by dx also here d square f by dx square also okay we can write in many ways in exam in exam they might be give any one of the notation for example prove that prove that y double dash uh, plus 2y dash is equal to 2 what is the meaning of this this will be second derivative this will be first derivative so y is equal to some x square plus 2x is given how to prove it first find y dash nothing but differentiate one then again differentiate we'll get second derivative okay first to find y dash again we can differentiate we'll get y double dash substitute both values here just check whether we'll get two or not okay otherwise they may be right like this x y2 plus uh, x square y1 uh, plus 2 is equal to 0 what is it? it will be represent x is a variable so here we need to find y1 y1 nothing but dy by dx we need to find y2 y2 nothing but d square y by dx nothing but first derivative second derivative after get first derivative and second derivative substitute here plus 2 okay like that in some example in maybe je level they might be they ask sometimes they will be represent show that uh, x d square plus uh, or uh, d plus e power x into y is equal to 0 what is capital d capital d nothing but d power 1 nothing but first derivative d square d square nothing but second okay so remember like this okay first derivative second derivative and we can write the nth derivative also like how to write the general notation sir y power n yeah sir Yes. So some student is waiting. Yes, okay. So nth derivative can be represent as n d power n y by d x power n is equal to d power n y is equal to f power n of x is equal to d power n f by d x power n. Just you can remember this. Put n is equal to one, we'll get the first derivative. Put n is equal to two, we'll get the second derivative. N is yeah, equal to three means four five. You'll get the answer. People are waiting in the meeting room. Yeah, I given permission, right? is it clear now so remember this uh, actually this is belongs to like uh, engineering level in engineering level we need to find the solution up to you up to you find the solution of first derivative for example y is equal to uh, sin x plus 2 cos x will be there what is the solution for that So here we are having some dy by dx. 
using first derivative there will be a differential equation concept in your uh, part 2 mathematics so up to here we need to find only first derivative differential equation concept is there that is one separate chapter very important and in that uh, we are going to apply few method like variable separable method homogeneous method okay like uh, cauchy's method non homogeneous method okay many concepts are there linear method bernoulli method newton's law of cooling on a physical i mean physics application uh, natural growth and uh, decay like a few methods are there all methods are based on the first derivative coming to higher level like engineering level we are going to solve second degree equation like d square y by dx square plus 2 dy by dx plus 2y is equal to 0 now we need to solve this equation uh, there we can find some particular integral complementary function like that some concepts are there this is related to higher level right okay here yeah, just remember this okay right let's go for next exercise exercise 5.6 or 7 5.7 okay let's see now so this is the concept clearly i explained the concept okay now let's do the problems here uh first question is find look at here in every question we need to find second derivative find the second order find the second order derivative 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 of the given function of the given function first one first question is x square plus 3x plus 2 okay we know very well how to differentiate how to differentiate just a moment the video is not there i think okay so here differentiate with respect to x of given function y because they are asking second order second order means find d square y by dx square very simple see for that i want to consider given function as y x square plus 3x plus 2 clear i am taking given function as y we need to find second order derivative so first to find dy by dx then find d square y by dx so if it is objective for example objective question what is the first derivative simple first derivative is y dash is equal to x square is 2x plus 3x is 3 into 1 2 is a constant derivative zero what is second order again differentiate 2 into 1 3 is a constant zero the answer is 2 So two is the second order derivative value, objective. But if it is board, how to write the steps here? So in board level, if they give first, let us consider given function as y. Now you should write like this: differentiate with respect to x on both sides. Then left side becomes dy by dx is equal to d by dx of x square plus 3x plus 2. After that, you can write separately d by dx of x square plus 3 into d by dx of x plus d by dx of 2. Right? Like that, you can write each and every step. X square now becomes 2x plus 3 into x derivative 1. Then 
because dx dx cancel plus zero. Clear. Finally, what is the value of two x plus three? So this is dy by dx. Now again, again differentiate with respect to x on both sides. Like that, you should write each and every step. Okay. Again, differentiate with respect to x on both sides. Okay. What is left side? Left side becomes d by dx of d y by dx. Right side d by dx of 2x plus 3. Now this left side it will become left side becomes d square y by dx square right side is 2 d by dx of x plus d by dx of 3. Right, this is 2 into 1 plus 0. Final answer is 2. Okay, so this is the answer. Okay, try to write each and every step. Since here, what form are we applying here? Here we form we are applying d by dx of x power n, that is n into x power n minus one. Since in the bracket, try to write form law. In exam alone, okay, if it is object, we write directly. Yeah, what is the answer for second question? Let y is equal to x power 20. Can you say that what is first derivative? X power 20 derivative. X power n 20. X power 19. And what is second derivative? 20. This x power 19 derivative. 19 x power 18. That already know this. Already studied in plus one twenty into ninety. Just multiply these two. One ninety plus one ninety. Three eighty four eighty. Okay, this is the second derivative value. Directly, but write all the same. Okay. Any more doubts here? Question number three, you can try. That is very easy. Already we find that solution. X cos x. X is u. Cos x is v. Uh, let's do that fourth question. Tell me what is. The answer of fourth question. S. The question is y is equal to log x. Differentiate y. Okay, if it is objective question, what is answer? Y dash is log x derivative one by x. Y double dash is one by x derivative minus one by x square. I said that. Remember the derivative of one by x. Already we derived one by x derivative minus one by x square in last in previous class, right? So one by x derivative always minus one by x. Clear. Okay, all of you write the steps. Uh, I take uh, differentiate with respect to x on both sides like this. I'll give one question here now. Uh, All of you do the question number six. Question number six.
yes question number 4 also easy question number 4 already i written here question number 5 question number 6 Seven, eight. Question number nine. Question number ten. Up to question number ten, we'll do differentiate normally, like first derivative and second derivative. Okay, what is the solution of question number six? Y is equal to E power x times five x. This is u. This is v. Apply u v formula. We know that the d by dx of u v is u d v by dx as v d u by dx. Apply the formula and write differentiate with respect to x. Left side clearly d y by dx is equal to Right, apply a u v formula. U is e power x d v by dx times five x derivative five cos five x. Since in the bracket already we know that formula d by dx of sine a x is a cos a x. Remember that sine a x is a cos sine five x is five cos five x sine ten x is 10 cos 10x, 100x is 100 cos 100x, like that. So plus sine 5x into dv, sorry du by dx e power x derivative e power. Is there any common? Yes, e power x is common. Remaining value is 5 cos 5x. Otherwise, you can write here this one. Sine five x. I write as sine five x plus five cos five x. Okay, now this is dy by dx. Again, we can differentiate. Again, differentiate with respect to x. Left side d by dx of dy by dx is equal to right side d by dx of this total value you can write e power x of sine five x five cos five x. Now u we form again. This is totally is v. This is u. Again apply this product rule. What is u e power x? What is v? This total function. So left side is d into like uh, d square y by d x square is equal to u d v by d x. That is u is e power x. What is the derivative of sine five x? Sine a five cos five x plus. Five is a constant. What is the derivative of cos five x? Derivative of cos a x is minus a because sine x derivative minus sorry cos x derivative minus sine. So cos a x is minus a sine a x. Okay, apply here minus five. Sine five x plus plus v v value is sine five x plus five cos five x into du by dx du derivative of e power x is e power x only. Okay, u dv by dx plus v du by dx. Again, what is common here? E power x is common. Remaining value is five cos five x. 
5 into 5 25 plus into minus minus 25 sin 5x and uh, plus 5 or sin 5x plus 5 cos 5x. All of you simplify and tell me what is answer. Answer, final answer, d square y by dx square is equal to e power x. First write the cos term, 5 cos 5x five plus 5 cos 5x. Five it will become ten cos five x. Ten cos five x. Ten cos five x minus twenty four uh, sine five x. Okay, right, right. Minus twenty four. Four. Uh, exactly, twenty four sine five x. Because minus 25 plus 1 minus 24 sine 5. So from starting to ending, what you observe that, what we observe that this product rule is very important. Product rule and quotient rule like u by b. These two formulas you have to remember. J for J students, uh, will take today 3 to 4 or 4 30 objective class. Do you have any other classes? Today and if possible, we'll take tomorrow also, like one and a half hour to two hours. So in that uh, class, uh, we have to discuss. First, uh, is recently whatever the question they asked in 2020 as well as 2019 question. First, we will discuss. Then let's go for our master J concept. Okay, try to will discuss uh, this derivative concept itself. After that, we'll go for matrices and determinants. That is easy only. This is the only little difficult one. If you have any class, you can inform to me. Otherwise, uh, three to four objective class. Weekly, two to three classes. That's it. Sir? Yeah. Sir, for this sum, the, in the NCRT book back, it is given as 2 e power x into 5 cos 5x minus 12 sin 5x, sir. Yeah, yeah. Take, okay, that's right. Only. Good. Take 2 common. Here, 2 we can take common. If you take 2 outside, 2 e power x. Uh, here, if I take 2 outside, here, 5 cos 5x. 2 outside means minus 12 sin 5x. Okay. Take two common, we'll get the same answer. Good. Two is the only common, we cannot take any other value, like five value. Two into e power x, five cos five x, minus two x sine five x, okay. Let's go for next question. The seventh question, you can try, seventh also same, e power six x, cos three x is there. That we can try. Let's do question number eight. What is the derivative of for tan inverse x? Question number eight is. Y is equal to tan inverse x. 
you only write all the steps i want to do directly differentiate char inverse x derivative is 1 by 1 plus x square 1 by 1 plus x square i want to return as 1 plus x square whole to the power of minus 1 is yes, 1 by x can be written as x power minus 1 in the same way 1 by 1 plus x square nothing but power 1 will be there i want to write like this now i want to differentiate y double dash is equal to this is same as x power n formula n into x power n minus 1 so n value is minus 1 this is x value minus 1 into 1 plus x square minus 1 minus 1 ok chain rule first x power n differentiation completed next the derivative of 1 plus x square 1 derivative 0 x square is 2 finally what is the answer minus 1 into what is the answer here 2x into what is the value 1 plus x square whole power minus 2 this is the value of minus 2x by 1 plus x square whole square otherwise look at it what is the y dash we got y dash value is 1 by 1 plus x square yes or no this is y dash y dash i got y double dash is directly what is the derivative of 1 by x derivative of 1 by x i said that remember the derivative of 1 by x minus 1 by x square clear minus 1 by x square apply this formula here this is same as 1 by x minus 1 by 1 plus x square whole square i applied 1 by x formula after that chain rule chain rule is the derivative of 1 plus x square 1 derivative 0 x square is 2x this is all we'll do in two ways after differentiate take into numerator apply x power n formula n into x power n minus 1 again the derivative of 1 plus x square is 1 is constant 0 x square is 2x 2x into minus 1 minus 2x this power minus 2 is there minus 2 take into denominator otherwise if you know the formula of 1 by x if you remember this formula you can write minus 1 by minus 1 by x square again 1 plus x square derivative is Okay. Ninth one is they given y log of log x. What is first derivative? Again, chain rule. First, differentiate this log sum. After that, you can differentiate next log sum. Here, very easy. Uh, log derivative is 1 by x. 1 by log x. Log x derivative 1 by x. Again, what is the log x derivative? 1 by x. So, this is the first derivative. x log x. x log x. Okay, we got first derivative. Then how to find second derivative? Again differentiate. Again differentiate like uh, I said just now I said that the derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square. So this is same as again 1 by x. 1 by x form. Okay, left side is y double dash. Differentiate 1 by x derivative minus 1 by x log x whole square okay this one by x completed next this x log x derivative what is x log x derivative x log x derivative this is u again this is v product rule okay this is we got minus 1 by x square into product rule x uh, 
what is uv so u dv by dx log x derivative 1 by x plus v du by dx log x this x derivative 1 x x cancel y double dash is equal to minus of here 1 plus log x by x log x square that's it Okay, is it clear? Like here, first log derivative 1 by x, again log x derivative 1 by x, so finally we got x log x, x log x, again differentiate, this is same as 1 by x, the form minus 1 by x square, again the derivative of x log x by using product rule, x divided plus log like that. X X get cancelled, then log X remaining one plus log. That too you can try sign log X. Sign log X derivative is sir that one by X log X we can simplify in y dash itself no sir the third step itself no sir. Yeah we can write like y double dash is equal to Look at here. Uh, actually, oh. Sorry, I didn't get you. Can you repeat again? X log x. Sir, so we can simplify in the third step itself, no, sir. How to simplify third step? Yes. How will you simplify it? See, I written very short because uh, this is also homework. I explained here, you can write very neatly in your class notes. Okay. So, here the, my intention is you have to understood the concept. Concept is very important and especially in uh, uh, continuity and differentiation, formulas are very important. Without knowing formula, you cannot do anything. See here applied the derivative of 1 by x. If you don't know 1 by x formula, again you have to take it to new.